Hello everyone, my name is Azamat Jamanov. I'm instructor training trainer of the CISCA courses at the Suleiman Dimitri University's uh, CISCA Networking Academy. Uh, starting from this video lesson, uh, I I'll try to share with you all the materials which I share with my students on the lecture times. Uh, so these video lessons are going to be the part of the project of the Flipped Classroom Education at our university. Uh, where is the meaning of the Flipped Classroom? Uh, approach of the education uh, is uh, is providing such kind of idea that students are not participating uh, on the lectures uh, physically but they participate on the lectures uh, so let's say virtually though they they are just looking for the lectures I mean video lectures through the internet so I, I'll just share with them and with you all the materials I mean the, the lecture materials and the students will just come to the practices and to the laboratory works during the semester. And by using this research uh, project, we'll try to show the statistics that uh, which type or the approach of the education will be better, traditional or the flipped classroom. So let's start. Uh, our course name is the Computer Networks 1 and the lesson 1 Intro to Computer Networks. What Computer Networks is? First of all, we'll take a look that uh, Computer Networks consist of some components. So there are three main components. They are devices, so the phys physical hardware, any kind of the hardware, the media through which your information is going to be transmitted and the services the any kind of the application which is used by your devices to make the communication for example skype or whatsapp or any other application whereas devices are divided into two parts the end devices so those devices which are starting and ending the the communication, for example, the personal computer, the, the IP camera, the IP printer or IP telephony or any other device, for example, your smartphone, etc. And also we have second type of devices called intermediary devices. So those devices which are interconnecting and devices usually we don't see these devices usually we just uh, interact with the end devices and we do not interact with the intermediary devices if we are not the network engineers so, so they are looking like boxes you see uh, so we have an example as the intermediary device is the hub or it can be called the repeater we have switch as the intermediary device, which is uh, make the switching of the, the frames. And we have a router. Uh, we may pay attention on the differences between these devices uh, by using these small examples. For example, when you are making the communication between three computers, A, B, and C, uh, which are connecting by the device which is called hub actually this is the logo of, or the icon of the hub and in case when computer a wants to have communication with computer b so let's say a wants to have communication with b a sends the information the sends the signals for the the hub and the hub is as I told it is a repeater it is just repeating all the signals which are coming from computer A to computer B and computer C okay so when computer let us say C is going to have communicate uh, is going to have communication with computer A then computer C sends the signal to uh, to the hub and hub is as the the repeater is just resending all this information for all other computers and if we will have an uh, extension of this network, for example, we'll have another hub here. And we'll have computer X here. Uh, so let's, let's delete this previous communication. 
And now we'll have uh, computer A, which, which is going to make communication with computer B, so that computer A sends information to B, but repeater uh, makes decision to send it to computer C, computer B, and also to, to, the, to the hub number two, and hub number two will send it to computer X. Okay? It's not a good idea in modern computer networks, in modern local area networks, to use the hub. Instead of it, it will be better to use the, the switch. So when you use, instead of hub, a device which is called a switch, so let's first of all delete these communications. All right. Oops, I deleted the, the link between computer A and uh, the switch one. So this is icon of the switch. So when computer A makes communication with computer B, it wants to make communication with computer B, A sends to B. But first of all, it is sending it to the switch and switch redirect this communication only to computer B. So let's say that the switch is the smarter and hub is just a repeater. Switch is able to distinguish this communication. So let me also take it off from here. Switch, also, uh, switch is able to distinguish the communication uh, and filter to which end device uh, to resend this information by using the addressing. So switch has uh, an addressing table. By using this addressing table, switch is defining to which device is to resend this information. In future, we'll speak about switching in more details, but not right now. All right, so let's continue with the next slide. So this is the hub-based communication. This actually, you see the topology, which is looking like a star, physical topology as a star. This is the switch communication. And also we have uh, the communication by using the router. So uh, the router is the, the layer three device Currently, you don't know what is the layer three, but in future, uh, we'll have a detailed explanation about it. But for now, it will be uh, quite enough for you to understand that the router is interconnecting networks, while compute while switches and hubs are interconnecting end devices. So you see here in this example, uh, switch is connecting the the IP telephone and computer. And, and one more interconnection and one more interconnection and interconnection to the uh, router. So um, a router is making connection of networks. So look, this is one network. This is second network. All ports or we say interfaces of router are distinguishing the network. So here we have actually three networks. In future, we'll have with you uh, also detailed explanation of the, what is the, the, the definition of the network. But for now, it will be quite enough, as I told before, to know that router is a device which is interconnecting the networks. Okay. Let's continue. We have three types of the, the media, three main types of the media. They are copper, uh, which is done through, from the metallic wire. As you see, this is just the, the basic uh, metallic wire copper cable, uh, which is called UTP, a shielded twisted pair. In the future, also, we'll speak about it in more details. We have the fiber optics. which consists of glass or the plastic. And uh, inside the, the fiber optics, we have not electrical signals, but we have the light signals. So uh, as you learn from the physics, like we have the core and inside this core, we have the, the mirroring effect, which is done by using the glass or the, 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 the plastic. And the light signals are just traveling by the angle and the, the, the signal is just mirrored by the same angle and uh, continues to travel. And at the end, it will be received. 
so that uh, in copper wire we have the electrical signals. In the glass, I mean in the fiber optics, we have the optical or we may say the, the light signal. Whereas in wireless, we have we have wireless communication without any cable without any cable, and we have electromagnetic signals. Signals. All right, and the services is just uh, any kind of the application which provides you the ability to communicate through the network. Next, uh, now let's take a look for the types of the networks, starting from the smallest and to the, the to the largest one. Uh, well, uh, in computer networks we have the type which is uh, type of the network which is called the PAN, the personal area network. The personal area network examples are the Bluetooth, the DigB, the six low V PAN, or the infrared port. Uh, the criteria, the requirements of the PAN network is that uh, the PAN network has to provide enough coverage for the person. So if we have the person, so the coverage of the person is has to be somehow like this. So not more than 10 meters, okay? So that uh, your uh, smartphone will be connected to your headset, for example. Uh, Sorry, like this, so that you will be able to uh, speak by mobile phone without uh, this. It's like a hands-free, you know, and the communication between these two devices uh, will be done by the wireless communication, not Wi-Fi exactly, because we are speaking about one. But for example, the Bluetooth. So e even if your mobile phone will be not here, but uh, somewhere here, so it will be also quite enough to have this communication between you and uh, between your smartphone and the headset where the Zigbee is the also the type of the protocol and the standard and 6 low VPAN also the type protocol of the standard which are using low power uh, in comparison with the Bluetooth and mostly these two protocols being developed for the for the IoT implementation or the Internet of, of Things implementation. So we'll speak about late uh, about the Internet of Things uh, later. But now we, we have to just continue. Uh, whereas local area network is uh, quite different than the PAN because the PAN is the for one person, and uh, the local area network is uh, provided uh, the communication for the for a location, for, for the single location. And actually the requirements to have the local area network is just a single geographical area. It means that if you are uh, based on in the New York, uh, or maybe even inside the New York, the Brooklyn uh, district, so that um, and if you have the, the part of your network in Queens, so that uh, you, you are going to have approximately two networks, not one of them, because uh, it will be not the single geographical array. Or maybe, uh, and the second requirement is just uh, your network has to be under one administrative control. What does it mean? Now let's take a look for the such kind of scenario. You have one building which is uh, separated into four offices, Office A, Office B, Office C and Office D. So actually, uh, if we'll take a look for first requirement, it is satisfied. Uh, this is the single geographical area, but we have four offices. So that we have one administrator for one office, another administrator for another office, and so on. So if these offices will belong to different organizations, approximately different administrators will be uh, will have uh, responsibilities for them. So it means that even if you'll have the single geographical area inside single geographical area, you are going to have a multiple uh, local area networks.
Next, a wide area network, one, which is interconnecting local area networks. Imagine that this is the, this is the Almaty city, this is Kaskillian city. To have interconnection between your uh, different cities, you usually use the one type of connectivity. So it can, uh, it's, it usually uh, has the serial type of interconnection and sometimes it can be even wireless. So if you have here the wireless uh, routers, not exactly the Wi-Fi, which, which you uh, think about, but uh, it can be, for example, GSM and GSM routers so which will uh, have uh, interconnection between this base stations and base stations will be uh, providing them the communication or even instead of the GSM we may have the satellite uh, system so and here we'll have the satellite actually itself so we'll just send information to the satellite and satellite will resend it to our uh, second router so this, uh, even if you work with the satellites looking like the person, then uh, you are using the one type of connectivity. Okay, so one is the wide area network for the long distances. And the internet, the internet is actually the, the main thing, the main uh, definition of the internet is that the internet is the global interconnection between devices and networks so what does it mean uh, it means that if you have for example the country uh, this is looking like our country uh, actually this is Kazakhstan uh, imagine that if you are having the interconnection between the devices from Aftabe and Almaty somehow by the network connectivity and uh, from Astana to uh, so let, let's say to the Oskimen and so you have interconnection between all the cities but in case when your country is not bounded with the global network which is called the internet so it means that we may say that we don't have internet connectivity because to have internet connectivity, you have to have a global ab ability to communicate uh, with the globe, okay? with the with all other devices uh, in this world, which are also connected to the internet. All right, so and uh, let's take a look for an example of the computer networks communication process. In this example, we are going to have uh, three end devices. They are uh, computer let's say A, computer B, and uh, this is going to be the server. Actually, it's looking like a refrigerator, but it is a server icon. And the client wants to upload or say and send the data into the server. Uh, approximately, this client wants to send. So let's say his name is just Birik. Okay. And this uh, lady's name is Igo. Uh, so Birik wants to send the the, the information which is uh, consisting of 100 megabytes uh, the question is what kind of problem can occur if client will send data in one stream by using one single packet the question is like this what will be happening if our person Beric will send the information by using single packet so let's take a look for the answers. Uh, sorry. Huh. All right, there are no answers. All right, but uh, when when it is happening, when you are sending a single hundred megabyte uh, packet, when you'll try to do it, so Beric's computer will start to make communication. Okay. And only Beric's computer will be able to communicate. So that when Igul will try to make communication at the same time, the, the, the line is busy, all right? So that she will not be able to have the, the tr files uh, transferring for the server. So this is one of the problem, 
only single device will be able to communicate through this uh, link uh, for a long time. And another problem is that when Beric's information packet will travel from its computer to the server, and if something will be wrong, for example, uh, from this 100 megabytes, we lost uh, 0.1 percent of the, the packet, it's damaged, it's not, didn't come to the server, so that Beric's computer will have to resend this information one more time, okay? And it's taking uh, time again to resend it. So the first problem is that only single host will be able to uh, uh, communicate for the long time. And the second problem is that it, when file will be corrupted or just, uh, yeah, um, if the, the element, element of file will be lost, file will be lost, then uh, sending device will have to resend this information. All right. So the, the, the way of uh, solving this problem is to divide the data into small pieces so that by using small pieces, we'll just send the same information. And so when we'll send first packet, second packet, third packet, and if something wrong will be with the third packet, we don't have to resend first and second, and we don't have to resend fourth, fifth, sixth, and sixth packet. We just have to resend only this damaged file packet. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, well, let's take a look for the small. I think that we have here the small animation. The segmentation process. Uh, segmentation is in process. Actually, this. Uh, division process of this information is called the segmentation. So you are creating small segments. All right. So let's take a look also for the such kind of situation uh, when uh, multiple devices are trying to make communication uh, through the same link. So th there, this is the problem, also one of the issue. Uh, even if your packages uh, with the small sizes, I mean your segments with the small sizes, sometimes it can be happening that uh, both of devices uh, are look, looking for the network and they, they don't see, for example, uh, computer A and computer B. Computer A wants to send information and at the same time computer B wants to send information. Okay, But they don't see that, so computer B doesn't see that computer A is already sending the information because they did not start to do it. You know, it's like uh, sometimes it is happening like when two person are meet each other and they they try to make the communication with, with each other and sometimes it happens like uh, he and she doesn't know, don't know what to say. Okay, and uh, this is the, the small pause happens and uh, they start to think about uh, what to say. He, he, he tries to make any joke, she, ha she tries to say any, anything also, like a joke maybe. And uh, at the same moment, duh, they can think about, wow, that's the great idea, we can say this, I can say this uh, joke and she can, she sing, like, oh, I also can do this, uh, uh, I can say something. And when they try to have this conversation, they uh, make collision. So we have the collision so that she didn't understand what she said and she didn't understand what he said. Okay, and at that moment, uh, they try to resolve the situation and that uh, he say, okay, you, you say, and she say, no, no, you say, come on. And uh, this process in computer networks actually is called the multiplexing. Okay, so that when computers are solving the pro the, the, the problem, the issue with the, with the collisions. And also we have the process which is called the labeling. So for each of our small piece of information, we have to provide the label uh, for the reason that when server will receive them, server has to place them in correct order and uh, uh, assemble them. 
reassemble them. All right, and this is the last slide, I think, uh, from this uh, lesson one. So, uh, symbols which are representing the computer networks, devices. They are rotor. So, you can see this circle with uh, some arrows. The LAN switch, the multiple arrows which are looking uh, to different uh, sides. Uh, LAN hub, the repeater, which is looking like a single uh, line with two arrows uh, on two ends. And sometimes it is also represented in like, like this, right? like a radiator, you know. Uh, this, this is the, the server, which is looking like the refrigerator. This is a personal computer, PC, laptop, the firewall, uh, which is uh, using to make the filtration of uh, unneeded traffic to like to save, to secure your uh, network. So we'll speak about it, about it a little bit later. Uh, sometimes it's also called the brand malware, the the so like uh, brand malware. Maybe I have the problem with the, the the syntax, with the grammatic here. But the the brand malware is the same, is having the same meaning as the firewall, but this in like in German language, this in English. In Russia, use, usually we use the 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 brand malware, like it's it's written in Russian like. Uh, uh, brand uh, malware. So you may think, what is, what is the meaning of this brand malware? So it's actually in German, and if you'll translate it to English, it will be the firewall. All right, so here we have the icon or the symbol of IP phone. It is uh, the same uh, phone which you use in the office, but uh, which has the ability to communicate to send and receive data by using the packages in the, like computer networks device. Uh, well, we have the wireless access points, which is which are providing the wireless access to your, for example, if you use notebook or any other device. And also here we have the wireless router, which actually has the element of the wireless access point. Whereas actually the difference between them, like uh, the access point is just providing the access like it is from the other side it is connected to the switch so switch sends the electrical signals to the access point and the access point transfer transforms uh, this signals electrical signals to electromagnetical signals and the wireless rotor is like a rotor but also it has the ability to work as the access point all right, this Zoro symbol is actually provides the information that this is a WAN media. It means that uh, you have the wide uh, connectivity between the routers, for example, one city and another city. Uh, in case when you have this uh, LAN uh, cable, so it means that you are connecting from router to the switch and from switch to the computer. So you, you, you have to understand that this is not long distance, it's like a, uh, in, in, inside the local area network and uh, this symbol bam 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 and like this like multiple uh, infinities is, are representing the, the, the wireless media sometimes I represent them like this it's, uh, it's quite uh, enough to understand also this waves or maybe this symbol uh, as the wireless media thank you for your attention this is the end of the lesson one